Hello Stratters, Nick here with another match of Modern, today playing Teamer Midrange. Alright, so we're on the draw. Our hand is, I think, reasonable. Uh, so this definitely wants to play against a more creature-based matchup, uh, but even if we're against something where these cards are dead, we have the Lighthouse. Uh, so even if we're against like Control, uh, this hand would be reasonable. Uh, against Combo, it's not the best. Okay, so Sanctum of Ugin, Terrarian. Oh, so I bet that this is... Uh, like that Open the Vaults or Faith's Reward type eggs combo. Uh, Crank Clan Ironworks, that's the, the name of the deck. Uh, so this hand is uh, not good against that. Uh, they might have some creatures, uh, but, uh, you know, these Roasts and Lightning Bolts are primarily going to be dead. We don't have anything like a Mana Leak. Uh, if we were able to slow their draw down a little bit, uh, we could get this Cryptic Band online. Uh, the opponent lost connection to the game, so I'm going to pause the recording for uh, just a little bit until they're back. And when they are, uh, I'll restart things for you. So... All right, so the opponent's back. Uh, we'll just play Scalding Tarn and pass to them. So if they play a creature, we'll be able to Lightning Bolt it, but uh, this deck plays, I think, Scrap Trawler and Hanger Back Walker. But, I mean... Otherwise, there's not a ton we can do. Uh, <clears throat> we may even be in a scenario where we fire off this pull from tomorrow for one, just to make like a mini faithless looting, and even though it would put us down cards, uh, just try to find relevant interaction. Something we might have to do. Okay, so they find a scrap trawler. They haven't played a land yet. And it looks like they aren't going to. So that at least gives us a little bit of hope. Uh, so if they stumble on mana for a couple turns, we can, you know, maybe uh, actually get this Cryptic Command online and be able to make use of it as a counterspell this game. Everflowing Chalice for zero. So that is just to enable Metalcraft on Mox Opal, I think. Okay, so they are slowly and plottingly developing their mana. Uh, so this deck is kind of interesting to, to watch in action. Uh, but... Okay, so I think we just want to get Tarmogoyf into play, hold up Lightning Bolt. So this gets us a clock, and that's really what you need against combo decks. And then hopefully we can just Lightning Bolt Scrap Trawler. Although it, that may be a card that they kind of hold as like a, a sorcery, uh, so to speak, for the turn that they're going off. Uh, like sometimes... Um, sometimes uh, storm decks treat like their Baral or their Goblin or Electromancer in that sense, where they only they only play that creature the turn that they intend to go off. They don't play it the turn before. So Icker Wellspring, that's fine. Then. Glintness Crane, also fine. So we'll bolt the crane, uh, puts a creature in the yard, and also takes away a blocker for the Tarmogoyf. Also puts instant in the yard. 
uh, fetch out that land, and so now 5-6 Goyf is a pretty big boy. It's going to help us close the game out, hopefully put in short order. Oh, wow, they have so many permanents in play. Here, I'll get rid of this. So this is the namesake card for the deck, and I think what we want to be countering here, uh, there's an argument to maybe counter and bounce something. I'm not sure exactly what, but I think we want to just draw a card because that gives us the most chances of drawing you know, another interactive spell that does something in the matchup. So counter and draw. Oh, and they just scooped the whole match, so... Well, that's disappointing. Uh, yeah, so I feel like game one for us is going to be pretty hard just because we have a lot of kind of dead removal and so forth. Post-board, when we're able to get uh, Ancient Grudges and Negates, cards like that, I think that this matchup becomes uh, much more reasonable for us. Uh, so, sorry that you guys didn't get to see... Uh, you know, the full match, but I think that's kind of, just to go over what I would have done in sideboard for that, uh, probably cut Flame Slash and Roast, just as the sorcery speed uh, spells don't really do a whole lot, uh, bring in the Ancient Grudges, as well as uh, Negates. And Disdainful Stroke, and then uh, probably cut, maybe even, a well, no, Electrolyzes, uh, they don't really do much, bring in Vendillion Clicks, probably, and then I may even try to get in these Tireless Trackers, maybe I would go down, like, one Bolt, and maybe an expensive card, like, Pull From Tomorrow, or Huntmaster of the Fells, uh, probably Pull From Tomorrow. Uh, maybe even both. So this probably would have been what I would have arrived at for a sideboard configuration. Just uh, you know, maximize our interaction with these spells, uh, as well as a little bit of disruption with the clicks, and increase our clock as much as possible. Uh, you know, Void Grafter not very good, not a very fast clock, but it is something that you can do. You know, if you pass with a negate up and they don't play anything worth negating, you can just flash in your Void Grafter and uh, get to a little bit faster of a clock. So I think this is probably what I would have done for sideboard. And I think in sideboard we probably are favored, but that game one, uh, you know, we were just kind of lucky that the opponent stumbled a little bit. We were able to get to four mana, get our Cryptic Command online, uh, and counter it. So I think that our opponent just, if they lose game one, then... Uh, Chances are they'll probably lose one of the two sideboarded games, and so they just didn't want to play it out, uh, which is a little disappointing. I mean, I always like to just, you know, see what happens. Uh, uh, <clears throat> anyways, uh, we'll see what happens in match three, so we have one more match to go. And take care, Stratters, and I will see you at the next match.